Ka, I want to start with you. Um, take us back to your presidential run. Um, I remember just watching it, and you were threatened, you were water cannoned, you were kidnapped, your supporters were actually beaten up, which I'm sure was probably the most difficult for you. Earlier today, we heard Pussy Riot talk about how popularity based on fear is not sustainable. But you know, when I think about that, and I think about Cameroon, this is a country where power has actually only changed hands once in the last 50 years. So in many ways, fear, you know, has controlled, has controlled people. So how do you break people out of that? And how do you run a campaign? How did you run a campaign on your terms with your values? I, I totally agree that um, fear, power based on fear, is illegitimate and is not sustainable. And, um, you know, we've seen, we're very fortunate, I think, to live at a time where we see leaders, you know, Mubarak in, in Egypt thought that uh, it was sustainable through fear. Ben Ali in Tunisia, he thought it was sustainable through fear. It's not sustainable. And luckily, in all of these places, even in those 50 years, people rise up occasionally, and they get pushed back by violence, by brutality, but they continue to rise up. One of my favorite um, lines about fear and that keeps me strong is a poem by an African-American author, Haki Madabuti, and it's entitled, Run Towards Fear. And we, we, we teach Cameroonians to run towards fear because fear is the thing that happens before you get into action. Once you get into action, it's gone. And not only that, you diminish it, it disappears. Because once something has happened to you, then you're no longer afraid of it. Um, so we teach people to be more afraid of a life in a country like mine where 56% of people do not have access to water, 50% of people do not have access to electricity, um, Young people do not have jobs. We need to be more afraid of not living the life that we are meant to live in a very, very rich country. I come from a very rich country. Um, we need to be more afraid of that than of a police baton, and people are doing it every day.